Krishna. Hare Krishna. We're here in the most beautiful Matchless Gifts, 26 Second Avenue, uh, yeah. the day after Srila Prabhupada's uh, Disappearance Day Festival. Yeah. And um, this evening we'll be having a Disappearance Day Festival here at 26 Second Avenue, which is glorious and beautiful. And uh, yeah, just remembering Srila Prabhupada, reading from his books, yeah. helps us to stay connected to him also. Yes. Canto for chapter 22 and verse 22. Two, 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 two. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Text 22. Attachment for the Supreme can be increased by practicing devotional service, inquiring about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, applying Bhakti Yoga in life, worshipping the Yogeshwar, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and by hearing and chanting about the glories of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. These actions are pious in themselves. Mm. Interesting. The word Yogeshwar is applicable to both the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna and his devotees also. In Bhagavad Gita, this word occurs in two places. In the 18th chapter, chapter 18, text 78, Krishna is described as the Supreme Personality of Godhead Hari, who is the master of all mystic power, Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna. Yogeshwara is also described at the end of the 6th chapter, text 47. Same yuktatmano mata. This yuktatama indicates the topmost of all yogis. The devotees who can also be called Yogeshwara. In this verse, Yogeshwara or Pasana means to render service to a pure devotee. Thus, Narutam Das Thakur says, Charya Vaishnav Seva Nishtara Paiche Kiva. Without serving a pure devotee, one cannot advance in spiritual life. Prahlad Maharaj also has. Page 10, please. <laughs> said. Yes, sir. Body doesn't bend forward. Has also said, Nice. Nice. <laughs> One should take shelter of a pure devotee who has nothing to do with this material world but is simply engaged in devotional service. By serving him only, one can transcend the qualitative material condition. In this verse, it is recommended, Yogeshwara Upasanaya, that one serve the lotus feet of the topmost yogi or the devotee. Mm. To serve the topmost devotee means to hear from him about the glories of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. To hear the glories of the Supreme Personality of Godhead from the mouth of a pure devotee is to acquire a pious life. In Bhagavad Gita, chapter 7, text 28, it is also said that without being pious, one cannot engage in devotional service. Yesham te anta katampa pam cha gyana nam punya kamanam te dwanda moha nirmukta bhajanti mam vrita vrata. To become fixed in devotional service, one has to become completely cleansed from the contamination of the material modes of nature. For work in devotional service, the first item is Ador Guru Ashrayam. One should accept a bona fide spiritual master and from the bona fide spiritual master inquire about one's transcendental occupational duties. Sad Dharma Pricha. And follow in the footsteps of great saintly persons. Devotees, Sadhu, Maga, Anugamanam. These are the instructions given in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu by Rupa Goswami. So we should serve the devotees. 
first point. It's interesting that Prabhupada keeps referring to the devotee or Vaishnavas as the topmost yogi. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I know, somehow I was thinking, you know, yogis like general, normal yoga, and he's, I don't know why that stood out for me, but somehow it does, that of all the yogis, the devotee is the topmost, I guess, because he's engaging in bhakti yoga, and he engaged in serving yogeshwara. Well, verse 647 is Yogi Sarvesham Matgatan Matgatainant Atmar Atmanam Shadavan Bajate Yomam Same Yuktatamo Mataha, which is what Prabhupada quotes, Same Yuktatamo Mataha, so that's line. Um, <coughs> so uh, the Lord have mercy, we get distracted by the things. Um, so this verse is often used to explain and help us to understand that on the yoga ladder, the topmost uh, yoga practitioner is uh, a bhakta, and the topmost yoga is bhakti. So um, at the moment we're reading Renunciation Through Wisdom, and Srila Prabhupada is uh, taking a lot of time to explain actually the distinction between a karma, a karma yogi and a karmi. And uh, a karmi is just someone who does, in one sense, pious things to get a pious result. Now it's interesting here, Prabhupada is using the word pious, because generally piety is related to more mode of goodness activity that isn't necessarily transcendental, that would have karmic reaction. But, Anyway, in this, in this uh, book, Renunciation of Wisdom, Prabhupada really stresses on how exalted a karma yogi is. Because a karma yogi is a person that is at least connecting their karmic activities, positive, pious karmic activities, to the Supreme. And in Bhagavad Gita, it's made clear again and again that there's only a slight distinction between a karma yogi and a bhakti yogi. Meanwhile, there's the karma yogi, the jnana yogi, the astanga yogi, and the bhakti yogi. So, or bhakti yogi. So, um, so here it seems that Prabhupada is, is citing that because that yoginam apisarvesham, of all yogis, matgatenantar atmanaha, shradavan bhajate yomam, one who has, uh, again, like unflinching faith in me, he is the topmost yogi, and that is my opinion, Krishna says. So, being a yogi, because yoga means union, it means one who's connecting with Krishna, one who's connecting with God. So you can do that through karma, you can do that through jnana, you can do it through astanga, or you can do it through bhakti. And of all them, connecting with God is the supreme goal, but doing it through bhakti is the highest. So I think that's why he's explaining like that. Does that make a little bit of sense? Yeah. Um, but the thing that I found a little bit confusing is Prabhupada mentions this word Yogeshwar and he says it's used twice in the Bhagavad Gita. So I was like, oh, okay, I only remember it being used once to describe Krishna. Then he uses the term 647, Yuktatamo. And he says, this is the same as Yogeshwar, although it's not. <laughs> it, it doesn't really appear to be the same as Yogeshwar, but the way he explains it, it does make sense. But then if you go back to the word for word, which is interesting, this kind of came up in class this morning. In the word for word, Yoga Ishwara is translated as the personality of Godhead, and U Upasana is by worship of Him, with a capital H. So... In the verse and in the translation, it really occurs that all of this is about Krishna, Yogeshwar. But in the purport, Srila Prabhupada really drives home the point of offering worship to the devotee, who is also Yoga Ishwara. So, um, yeah. Anyway, it's an interesting thing. For me, it was a little bit like, okay, well, how did it get to that? And I could see that it, 
it could open open at least it could open one up to criticism about well how did you get to that point you're just kind of man manipulating it a little bit you know twisting <coughs> it. Um, of course it is true that the, devo the devotee is the topmost you know uh, uh, yogi so that is there but yoga Ishwara interesting um, Sorry, I cut across you as well. You posed a question. It's okay. I know, it's not uncommon, is it? Let's move on to the next paragraph now. Okay. <laughs> the conclusion is that to increase attachment for the Supreme Personality of Godhead, one has to accept a bona fide spiritual master and learn from him the methods of devotional service and hear from him about the transcendental message and glorification of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In this way, one has to increase his conviction about devotional service. Then it will be very easy to increase attachment for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Srila Prabhupada is stressing the point about accepting Guru and how that makes the, the process more... Um, fixed and more steady and more um, serious and also as I was reading that I was thinking okay yes so guru is considered non-different from Krishna from God so the guru is accepted as good as God although he is not God I mean he is from the perspective that he's a part and parcel of God but He's a part and parcel of God. He's not God. So in that way, I started to think, okay, so Yoga Ishwara, the original Yoga Ishwara, and the devotee Yoga Ishwara means that if we take shelter of the devotee, this is how we, you know, Gopi Bar Tor Padakamala Yor Das 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 Anu Das. So we, we take shelter of the devotee who's a devotee of the devotee of the devotee of the devotee of the devotee like that, and we make progress. Anyway. Mm. <clears throat> Takes 23. Jeepers. What do you need to do? Mm. Should we save it for another day? We're going to save this for another day. It's got it's quite a long purport. It's very long. Okay. All right. Thank you all very, very much. Hare Krishna. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Rantara Shima Bhagavatam Ki. Yay. And um, whenever you're watching this, which will certainly be well Friday. after well after um, Srila Prabhupada's disappearance day, Friday. Um, then uh, just encouraging you to please uh, remember Srila Prabhupada, think about Srila Prabhupada and the beautiful gifts that he's given in general, mm -hmm. and then specifically the beautiful gifts that he maybe has given in your own life. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Bye.